So here's an overview of Arnia's beehive monitoring system. I guess the first question you might be answering is why would I want to monitor my beehives? I guess the, the short answer is because you'll be able to find out so much more about what the bees are doing while actually disturbing them less. It is in no way a replacement for a beekeeper, but it can be a very valuable tool for beekeepers at all different stages. The system basically comprises of hive monitors, these are two different types of hive scale. These will take readings from the hive and send it back to the user interface using it by, from, via this gateway unit. This allows the user to log in from any internet enabled device to see how the bees are doing. It allows you to configure alerts for when it's time to add a honey box or when your queen stops laying or even if you're in a boring meeting and you just kind of want to see that you're interested to know uh, that your bees have collected a lot of honey that day. The most basic system component, and the original system component, is the hive monitor. Now here's our original hive monitor. It's about a five-year-old design now. I mean, uh, the trouble with this, well, the functionality is very similar to the, today's monitor, but the batteries only used to last about three months. About five years ago, that was quite a long time. But nowadays, we've moved them into a bigger box, so those batteries last more than a year. We have uh, various sensors. Here we have a, a humidity sensor. This uh, can send you an alert if your hive is a little bit humid during the winter, you need to, to ventilate it. Or you might be wanting to do a comparison between a polystyrene hive and a wooden hive to see the difference in condensation levels. We have a, a brood temperature sensor, which sort of slips down between the, the middle frames. This tells you when your colony is, is brood, uh, ha has brood. So you can receive an instant alert when your queen stops laying, for example. Uh, in the similar but opposite way, you can also receive a, an alert when your virgin queen starts laying and you can go back into the hive. I think what sets our system aside from other hive monitoring systems is our use of acoustics. From day one, we've been using acoustics. Um, using acoustics, you can see the, how much your bees are flying. You can map your daily flight profile. You can see that they fly a lot in the morning, most often. Certain times of year, they seem to take lunchtime off. You get a bit of play flights in the afternoon. Um, you can also see sporadic uh, activity in the winter months, which would be quite useful to know about. You also see when the bees are, are ventilating, uh, fanning, um, so you can see them when they're processing nectar. You can also see if they're disturbed in some way. And you get a very good feel for the strength of the colony or the general activity of the colony just by the sort of uh, sound they make. So that's the, uh, the hive monitor. Here we have two hive scales. The hive scales support all the sensors of the, the hive monitor, the acoustics, the, the brew temperature, the humidity, but with the added parameter of weight. Weight is a very useful parameter. Uh, not only can you set up alerts of, you know, when to add honey boxes, when to take them off, um, you also can map your annual nectar flow, which is, which is quite interesting to see. You can check they got that last bit of ivy before they go into the winter. Uh, also feed management. Um, we rarely feed our bees, but I remember the, the what one year we did, and I'd turn up to uh, to feed the bees only to notice they still had half of that uh, the, uh, um, the, the 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 food left. I went to our next bee place, and they'd finished theirs about a week ago, and I remember thinking, I wish I'd sort of done that the other way around. Uh, and obviously, we're using the scales, you can set them alert to say when there's so much fit through their food, and you know that it's time to go back and change it. There's two types of hive scale here. We have the, the basic scale and the pro scale. The basic scale is the cheaper of the two scales. It is comes in kit form to uh, reduce on manufacturing costs. Uh, although it costs less, it's still made from very high quality materials. We have stainless steel and um, fiberglass. Uh, whereas with the the pro scale is is like all Arnia scales, it has a, a void which allows the ventilated floor hives to ventilate or the bees to discard their debris. There's very little point in buying a hive with a ventilated floor only then to close it by a traditional parcel scale. Um, it's lower profile than the, the basic scale. It's actually made from powder coated laser cut aluminium. Uh, it comes to bits to, uh, to clean it off. Multiple load cells. Um, both types of scale uh, come with a head unit. This holds their batteries. So the, uh, they're just all on your equipment runs off D-cell batteries that you buy from a supermarket, uh, old fashioned torch batteries if you like. They're not expensive, they're easy to get your hands on, they're, they're very quick to change. If you find the red of the Pro Scale a little bit garish, then we also have a garish green colour. 
in in all in all honesty, we have uh, uh, any colour you like. Really, we do them in blue, red, uh, and a darker olive green, or or a black. It doesn't have to be a uh, a crazy colour. So we have the scales, we have the monitor. Whatever combination you have of these, these take data from the beehive and uh, they send it periodically to the gateway unit and the gateway unit then transmits that back to the user interface. It uses the, the mobile phone or the cell network. We have a, uh, it's a, a, a five band modem, it's two or three G, so it works anywhere on the planet well, that has cell coverage. Um, we have our own special SIM card, which can use multiple networks, wherever it is. Uh, it's much cheaper than a normal cell contract, uh, so it has much cheaper running costs. Unlike a pay-as-you-go SIM card, you don't need to put it into a phone periodically to keep it active. It will just always tick over at a very reasonable rate. The gateway comes with uh, various accessories. Uh, here we have a, uh, the most common accessory and, and possibly the most uh, uh, useful accessory of all. It's the weather pack. Uh, whatever your other monitors and sensors are telling you, this is always best put into perspective with uh, the weather conditions from the apri. For example, you may notice that your flight suddenly stops for a few days or the, the, the increase in, in, in honey flow stops for a few days. Uh, by overlaying the weather temperature on the same graph, in our user interface you can very quickly establish that it was either very cold there was maybe a cold slap or maybe it was raining or something like that the the weather pack has a uh, uh, sunshine sensor so you can tell the difference between what's a, a warm day or a sunny day uh, we have a self-emptying rain gauge uh, which comes to bits for, for cleaning the way that works obviously there's a funnel the rain drips through uh, fills up this bucket which when it tilts starts filling up that bucket and it tilts back so by counting the bucket tilts we can get a, uh, a good good idea of the rainfall without you having to empty it like a, a, a normal cylinder uh, type type rain gauge. There's also an external uh, power connection uh, for the uh, so you can add external batteries. I'll talk about more that in the in the in the gateway overview video. There's also an external power on the on the pro scales. Although the pro scale battery, while, while the the gateway lasts about five six months. Depending on the strength of your mobile, it kind of adjusts itself cleverly only to use the signal it needs to. Um, but in low signal area, maybe five months, uh, well, you'll get more than a, a year out of your, your your scales. The way the the, the 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 gateway needs to be positioned centrally in your apiary, maybe up to about 50 meters away from the scales. It's a bit of a black art radio. Um, the uh, as I say, up to 50 meters. Although sometimes when I'm testing gateways here, we have a or monitors here, we have another gateway about. 110 meters in that uh, direction quite often when you don't want to do it also picks up the monitors so uh, uh, you know uh, also it depends if you've got a building in the way it may only be about 20 meters but basically this goes in the center of the apiary uh, your various scales and or monitors are spread around the apiary and they and they send the data back to the the gateway the the transmission's done using a, a very low power radio network it has been optimized to minimize the radio pollution on site um, and that's pretty much concludes the uh, the overview.